Hi, I'm Fred Minnick, and today I'm going to go over what a mash bill is. A mash bill is the term that they use uh, to discuss the grain percentages that go into a whiskey, specifically American whiskey. The rest of the world typically talks about blending percentages, but American whiskey is hell-bent on talking about their mash bills. So one of the terms that you will hear a lot is a term called weeded bourbon. A weeded bourbon is simply a mash bill that is using predominantly uh, wheat as its secondary grain. So you got to remember in bourbon, all, all whiskeys have to be at least 51% corn. And when they use wheat as a secondary grain, like Maker's Mark does here, or Larceny, or Pappy Van Winkle, or Weller, they call it a weeded bourbon. Now, the more traditional bourbons, like this one from Heaven Hill, the Evan Williams Bottled and Bond, is using, you know, predominantly corn and near equal parts rye and barley. You'll see in a, a lot of people fall in love with the high rye bourbons, like Four Roses uses a lot of rye in their uh, bourbon mash bills. So that is uh, what Four Roses is classified in terms of uh, the mash bill. Now, in the new age of American whiskey, we're starting to see a lot of people use four grains, such as this uh, Spirits of French Lake. It is using oat, corn, wheat, and barley. So that is a very unique mash bill. And outside of bourbon, you have rye so and when you when you're making rye the majority of the grain has to be rye but that's just a little bit about what a mash bill is so whenever someone's talking to talking about the mash bills uh 80 corn 15 percent rye and five percent barley you know they're only talking about the grains going in there's a lot of things that make whiskey's flavor unique the mash bill is just one of them. Some would say it's just a small part. I would like to argue that it actually makes a big, big difference. And you can definitely taste the difference between a high rye bourbon and a wheat bourbon most of the times. If you'd like to learn more about American whiskey, make sure you're hitting that, hitting that subscribe button. And um, hit that uh, reminder as well because I do a lot of live streams where I do taste-offs and talk about uh, whiskeys and all the drama that's going on in the whiskey world. I also got a member community where I'm doing exclusive live tastings and uh, letting the members decide what I taste. So check it out and I look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers. Vodka sucks.